So let's assume I'm using Google AdWords and I'm paying 50 cents for pay per click. Now let's assume my campaign at 50 cents each gets me 10,000 people to come look at my website. Well, 50 cents times 10,000, that cost me $5,000. But the goal isn't to just have people visit. The goal is to get them to the end of the funnel. And at the end of the funnel, I want them to actually have paid for and or use the product. So the goal is to activate them. Now what's interesting is assume I'm offering a trial and assume that maybe just 5% of the people who I've acquired actually now take the trial. And so I now have 500 people using my freemium product. But the goal is not to just have them use a freemium product. The goal is to actually have them pay for it. And what's interesting is assume 10% of those now actually pay. So I'd start with 10,000 people who came to my site. I spent $5,000 for them. 500 people took a trial of the product and 50, only 50, actually paid for the full version of the product. So while 10,000 people look great for five grand because it only cost me uh, 50 cents per person, if we now do the math, we can now see it cost me $100 to acquire one paying customer. That $100 equals my customer acquisition cost. I use this example for a web mobile channel, but it's similar for a physical channel. You might not be doing pay-per-click, you might be doing direct mail math, or you might be doing television or radio math, but the math works the same. How much did it cost to acquire a customer? How much did the campaign cost? How much did it cost to get them to consider uh, your product? How much did it cost them to take a test drive of your car or fly your airline? And what, in the end, was your customer acquisition cost? That's a key number for any founder thinking about a startup.